Oregon, my Oregon. If you didn't know it, that's the state's official song. Perhaps you didn't realize Oregon had an official song. That is not the case for Amy Shapiro. I have been thinking about this song for 30 years when I, because 30 years ago I had to teach it to some little children and I didn't like it. It was 1990. Choir director Shapiro was excited to bring her fifth graders from the Oregon Jewish Academy to perform the song at the state capitol for Children's Day. Then she took a closer look at some of the lyrics, like Land of the Empire Builders, Land of the Golden West, Conquered and Held by Free Men, Fairest and the Best. And the Martyrs, I don't even want to go into that because, you know, in a Jewish school talking about martyrs and and the blood of martyrs. It was not a song I wanted the children to sing. So I think the love of freedom is better than the blood of martyrs. The love of freedom is just one of several new lines Shapiro wrote to replace lyrics emblematic of the state's racist history. The song was written in 1919, a time when Oregon was a whites-only state with exclusionary laws. I worked and worked and worked and found what I thought were the perfect words that everybody could sing and it would be something that everybody could be proud of. About five years ago, the Hillsborough Symphony Orchestra, which Shapiro's husband plays in, asked her if she'd be willing to sing the state song. And I said I would sing it, but only if I could change the words. That was the start of a much bigger effort to officially modify the song. Shapiro worked with State Representative Sherry Scouton on House Concurrent Resolution 11. It aimed to rewrite the questionable lyrics while preserving the original music. The House passed the resolution in April, and this week, the Senate did the same. Now it's official. The words are good, and everybody can sing them. So I'm very excited about it. Last month, the Hillsborough Symphony Orchestra created this virtual performance of the modified song. Bring peace and unity. That's my goal. For her effort, Shapiro says she's heard from some of the very students who sang with her in Salem 30 years ago. They thanked her for not giving up. This validates everything that I've been working for. I want students all over the state to be able to sing the song. Catherine Cook, KGW News.